Shabbat Shalom, daughters of Zion. Welcome to the Watchers Woman channel. I'm Sister Rita Esther. Our topic today is return to Him with all your heart. Return to the Most High with all your heart. Hallelujah. In Psalm, in First Samuel seven, in First Samuel seven, verse three, He says. And Samuel spake unto all the house of Israel, saying, If ye do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and Astaroth from among you, and prepare your hearts unto the Lord, and serve him only, serve him only, hallelujah. And he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. Hallelujah. He said we should return unto the Lord. He's speaking to the children of Israel. So he wants us as his children to return unto the Lord. Hallelujah. He wants us to, to return unto him with all our hearts. Not just some part of our heart for God and the remaining for the world. No, He wants us to return to Him with all our hearts. Hallelujah. And put away idols, put away gods, small gods. Hallelujah. And we should prepare our hearts unto the Lord. We should, we should sanctify, we should cons consecrate our hearts. Hallelujah. To the Lord and serve him only we should serve him only because he has told us he's a jealous god we should serve him only then he will deliver us hallelujah out of the hands of our enemies he says philistines here because the philistines that is troubling the children of israel then so he will deliver us out of our enemies hallelujah in deuteronomy 30 Deuteronomy, book of Deuteronomy 30, Deuteronomy 30 verse 10 says, If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, we should listen, we should hearken. To the voice of the Lord, our God. Amen. He, to keep his commandments and his statute, which are written in this book of law. This book of law. It says in Proverbs that the book of law shall not depart from our hearts. This book of law, the scriptures, his word. Hallelujah. He said we should follow the commandment and the statutes which is which are written in this book of law and if thou turn unto the lord thy god with all thy heart with all thy heart and with all thy soul not only with all our hearts with all our soul we should we should follow the commandment the statue which are written in this book of law hallelujah and we should follow our lord our god with all our hearts, hallelujah, and with all our soul. Because when you when you worship the Lord, when you serve the Lord, you serve him in spirit and in truth. Because he's a God of the spirit, hallelujah. It has to do with all our hearts, with all our soul, amen. And Isaiah 44, Isaiah 44. Verse 22 says, I have blotted out a thick cloud thy, tra thy transgressions and as a cloud thy sins return unto me. So I have redeemed, for I have redeemed thee. Sorry, return unto me. For I have redeemed thee. 
he has, he has blotted out our sins. Hallelujah. And he wants us to return unto him because he has redeemed us. There is no need to be thinking when I return, how will it be? He has perfected everything that concerns us. He says, yeah, he has, he says, for he has redeemed us. He has redeemed us. We should return unto him. Hallelujah. And when we return unto him, we return unto him with all our heart, with all our soul. We return from all our sinful ways, from all the worldly things. Hallelujah. From all our old ways. And Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40 verse 6 says, the, vo the voice said, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass and all the godliness thereof is as the flower of the field. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Return unto him for he is merciful. He is merciful. Father is merciful. When you return unto him and you forsake all your sins, you forsake all your transgressions, he will pardon, he will forgive you because he knows the end from the beginning. So when you return unto him with a repentant heart, he will definitely forgive you. Hallelujah. And then in Isaiah 55 verse 7, Isaiah 55 verse 7 says, Let the wicked forsake all. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. And our God. For he will abundantly pardon. Hallelujah. Return unto him. For he will glorify thee. Return unto him, for he is abundantly able to deliver and, and to save you out of bondage. Osea, book of Osea 6, verse 1. Book of Osea 6, verse 1 says, Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath turned and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind us. Amen. And Joshua 24 as well. Joshua 24 verse 14. Book of Joshua 24 verse 14 says, Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. We should serve him in sincerity. We should be sincere. Our heart should be pure in serving him, in coming to his presence. We should have nothing hidden before him because he can see it all. Hallelujah. He said we should serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt and serve ye the Lord. Hallelujah. He keeps saying that. Put away the gods. Put away the idols. Serve him sincerely. Serve him wholeheartedly. Serve him truthfully. Hallelujah. 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 And that's Joshua 24 verse 14. Return unto him. For he is powerful. He is powerful and is faithful. Ancient of days is faithful. I am that I am is faithful. Father Lord is faithful in all he has promised. Return unto him, for he will answer you in the day of your distress. Genesis 35. Genesis 35 from verse 1. He says, And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there, and make there an altar unto God that, that appear unto thee. When thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother, and Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him, 
put away the strange gods that are among you and clean and change your garments hallelujah let's know the strange gods that were with the children of israel then that jacob said and then verse 3 said and let us arise and go up to bethel and i will make thee an altar unto god i will make thee an altar unto god who answer me in the day of my distress and was with me in the way which i went and they gave unto jacob all the strange gods hallelujah which were in their hands and all their earrings so that means earrings is also gods hmm. which were in their ears and jacob hid them under the hook which which was by shechem and they journeyed and the terror of god was upon the cities that they were the round about them and they did not pursue after the sons of jacob so so jacob came to Luz, which is in the land of canaan that is bethel he and all the people that were with him and he built there an altar he always built altar just like isaac as well and abraham and he built there an altar and called the place el bethel because their god appeared unto him when he fled from the face of his brother hallelujah hallelujah return unto him for he will protect you he will guide you return unto him for he is a glorious god return unto him for he is the mighty one in battle he will destroy all the pharaoh that is against you hallelujah return unto him for he is the king of glory Return unto him, for he is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Forsake your unholy life. Forsake your known sins. Forsake your evil ways. Forsake your disobedience. Forsake your running after other gods. Forsake your fleshy ways. The, look, um, the fleshy dressing the fleshy way of doing things the the hearings the chain those are gods uh, wigs um um all those um, attachments everything forsake the way of the world hallelujah because he is there with you forsake other gods return unto him with all your spirit your soul your body he wants us to serve him wholeheartedly. He will never let you down. If you forsake the Lord, he will forsake you. May he not forsake us. Let us not forsake. I am the same. Let us keep his statutes. Let us keep his commandments. Don't provoke him to anger. Don't bow down to other gods. For he is a jealous God. Deuteronomy 6, Deuteronomy 6 from verse 12, Deuteronomy 6 from verse 12 says, Then beware lest thou forget the Lord which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God, and serve him, and shalt swear by his name. Ye shall not go after other gods, gods of the gods of the people which are around you. Don't copy them. Don't go after other gods of the people which are around you. Hallelujah. For the Lord thy God is a jealous 
God among you. Lest the anger of the Lord thy God be kindled against thee and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. Ye shall not tempt the Lord your God as ye tempted him in Massa. We shouldn't tempt I am that I am. Ye shall dil diligently keep the commandments of the Lord our, your God and his testimonies and his statutes which he had commanded thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, we should keep his commandments. Hallelujah. And the second book is Judges 2. Judges 2 from 12. Judges 2 verses 12 and 13. He says, And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt to follow their gods, of the gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and provoked the Lord to anger. And they forsook the Lord, and served Baal and Ash Ashtaroth. They provoked the Lord to anger. They disobeyed. They disobey. Return to him with all your heart, with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Hallelujah. In full humility, with humble spirit, with a repentant heart. Joy 2. Book of Joy 2. From verses, verses 12 to 14. Therefore, also now, said the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your garments. Our heart is what we should rend, not our garments. Hallelujah. Because out of the abundant heart, the mouth speaks. Amen. And rend your heart, not your garment, and turn unto the Lord your God. For he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of a great kindness, and repentant him of the evil. Amen. He will bless you. He will guide you. He will protect you. He will not let you down. He will turn the story to glory. Hallelujah. Love him today. Walk with him today. And he will love you more. He will guide you. He will protect you. He will change your story to glory. Return to him with all your heart. Follow his commandment. Leave the world. Because if the love of the world is in you, the love of Father in heaven is not with you. You cannot love the world and love the Lord. Forsake the world, forsake the worldly things and grab him and grab him with the two hands. Hallelujah. And he will love you more. He will guide you. He will protect you. He will shield you with great protection. Hallelujah. If you have listened to me up to this hour and you have not given your life to Christ, tomorrow might be too late. Give your life to Christ today. Return unto him wholeheartedly. Forsake your evil ways. Forsake your way of sin. Forsake your living for yourself because you've been bought already by the blood of Christ, Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Say after me if you want to give your life to Christ. If you haven't done so, Christ Jesus of Nazareth, his name in Hebrew is Yashchaya. Christ Jesus of Nazareth, Yashchaya, have mercy on me. I believe in your death and resurrection for me. Cleanse my sins with your blood. Break me, remove me to your divine standard. Write my name in the book of life. Amen. I pray with you that I am that I am. We break you, remove you to your to his divine standard. He will guide you. He will protect you. He will open your heart. He will open your inner eyes. You will know him. You will serve him. You will live for him. You will be of him. He will write your name in the book of life. You shall end with him by the mercy of the most. You shall fulfill the purpose why he has created you. Amen. If you have said that prayer with me, go to any Bible-believing church near you. Blessed sweet Holy Spirit will take it from here. There it will direct you. 
If you have Bible, take your Bible, read your Bible, pray. If you don't know how to pray, just make it a prayer point. Father, I don't know how to pray. Help me. Teach me. Blesses you to Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit will take you from there. And the true man of God will baptize you. One day at a time, you will look back and just give glory to God that he has taken you far than you thought. And the glory will be unto him. Hallelujah. Walk with the Most High in truth and in righteousness and in uprightest of heart. Amen.